Tonight, inside the historic Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, ash, smoke, and a glow of embers. Also, incredible signs of the work by firefighters. The altar and the cross still standing, as well as the shell of the stone structure and its two main bell towers. The fire began about 7 p.m. Paris time. The smoke was visible for miles. Flames caused the famous cathedral's roof to collapse. They engulfed the 315 foot spire, which also fell. Firefighters worked well into the night and finally gained control of the fire. And the announcement came, the main structure had been saved. There is a feeling of shock though, even from thousands of miles away. People from France now living in the Denver area could hardly find the words to describe their feelings. Yeah, one man tried to tell us how he feels. He compared it to watching one of our own American symbols catch fire. I mean, Notre Dame is like the history of France. It's a symbol of our history, a symbol of our culture. You, you have so much to see inside. And what, that's really what's most, you know, maybe the saddest thing about what's happening right now, you know, to see all this history, this art disappearing like this, you know, with the fire. So I'm Martin Lafitte. I'm the executive director of uh, the Alliance Francaise here in Denver, and I'm from Paris. <laughs> To see that it was burning is something like indescribable. You cannot, you, we don't have words. I don't know. <laughs> My mind goes blank now. What, can, what could we say? So it's like, you know, the, the, the Statue of Liberty burning tomorrow. You know, how would an American react to that? This is not just a simple building that's burning. That's really a symbol. Uh, you know, that's the heart of France, that's the heart of Paris. Nous allons reconstruire Notre Dame. Nous allons reconstruire Notre Dame. We will rebuild Notre Dame. The bells rang at the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. today. Churches and cathedrals ring their bells in solidarity with Notre Dame.